Hello everyone, welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. I've just been gathering some resources off camera to fix up my little abode. And that's what I hope to get done at the beginning of this episode. So enjoy this time lapse of me finishing my house.
All this progress, we've got our nice storage room, I still have to do the floors, and these torches are only temporary. I want to add some lanterns to the top, but I haven't found much iron yet. Got my H for Hedgy for Hire. This is supposed to be like a vault door, I'm going to need some iron bars to kind of show the handles. Uh, I'm going to do what Pickled Toast did, where he had the, what are they called, item frames on the floor, so then I don't have to try to aim around them. I thought that was a really good idea. We're gonna finish the chest on both sides. I just need to wait for the resources to come at this point. Uh, this room was nice. We could add a bit more detail, like some of the plants. I need to find a dead bush because this does not look okay at all. And then we've just got this nice bed thing. It's just something for me to sleep on, nothing too fancy. I like it. Now, let's work on the outside. Hello, this is me talking in the future about this video that I just made. Uh, I think it needs a little bit of explanation. So here I'm starting to build the trees. I lay out my path just to give me an idea of where to put the trees. Doing a bit of landscaping to make the land seem a bit more natural. And I add a few more trees. You know how it is. Trees make things better in every scenario. Then I start building out the trees in a sort of zigzag fashion. We do this for every single one, and I eventually get the astrophysics to help me out, so he goes around, fixes them up for me. It helps out a lot to have somebody to build with you, so that's definitely a tip that I have. And Brent gives you a nice little message. Hold on a second. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, he's gonna do it. The Mad Lad. Dear viewer, you are extremely cool, and I think I'm going to have to agree with him. Of course, he is one of the viewers, so he could just be giving a compliment to himself. I put torches on the trees to help light up the ground, but I'm eventually just going to put torches on the ground because it's a lot simpler. I finished them all, and now I'm going to have to start putting leaves on them. That's where I had a lot of trouble. And then I died to a phantom attack. I don't know what that was about. And then I go outside, and then I give you a little tea bag. And then I die to a phantom. Mm. I didn't really know how to handle that, so I just got my items and I, th I just went back inside. 
So we go outside and then Charlie's sitting there with a bow and he just starts shooting us for no reason. He says something, he says something weird. Kills us again. Yeah, he, he says the reconning. I don't know what that means. But he's killing both of us and that, that just annoys the hedgehog cam so it leaves. And now it's just me playing. Brant, to answer that question, I'm just a god, okay? So I keep going with the trees. He tries to kill me again, but I matrix dodge every single one of his arrows. This one, this next one gets kind of close. This one right here. It almost hit me, so I give him a cheeky little tea bag. Then I remember that I need some torches, so I go, I go and I hide behind the tree. Because, you know, I need torches to light up the ground. And I wait him out. He eventually leaves. Which makes things easier. I take advantage of him not aiming at me. I put a torch up. I put torches in all of them now, so I try to go fix this tree, but it ends up looking super, super blocky. I, I try to fix it, I put more leaves on, I, t I take leaves off, but nothing works. I mean, look at that thing, look at that ugly thing, it's stupid and I hate it. Look, I look at it, look how dumb it looks. I try to use shears, trim it down, nothing helps, it's, it's no use. I'm trying so hard got so far but in the end it doesn't even matter I try to fix it look at it decide it's all stupid and I'm just gonna kill it so I kill it real good then I decide to put leaves on just the top layer and that ends up looking a lot better put leaves on the top layer and then the layer above it I definitely think that looks a bit more clean shows off the bark or whatever the bark is supposed to be the fences you know what I'm talking about then Charlie tries to promote his business by saying that bow was good, so I respond with a nice little I hate you, you know, as you do. We're good friends, don't worry. Now I finished all the trees and I need to take down the pillar that the hedgehog cam was standing on. Then I get to go down real fast using shears and that was a lot of fun. Look how speedy that is. God, I'm such a sonic speedy boy. And then I think it's time to start the pond. So yeah, I've got my bucket, and I'm just gonna dig out a little area for the pond. I start out with trying to make a river, so you can see it ex it's gonna start extending quite far out. But the thing about the river is I put it in a very inconvenient spot where I would have had the water flowing down the mountain, but I couldn't do that because of all the trees I put there. So I look at this thing, and then I think to myself, no thank you, I don't want any part of this, this is just going to look bad. So I cut it off and then I just start refilling it back with dirt. It was a bit of a waste of time, but like, I don't care. It'll, it'll look good in the end, I hope. I hope people like it, because I, I, I think it's good, you know, it's not terrible. I'd make it bigger because I want a, a nice beefy pond. I get some water and then I use my big brain to make a water source inside the pond so I don't have to go back to the, the big lake every time. Filled in real fast, nothing too crazy, I'm sure you don't care. And then I decide to get out my flowers. Aw oh, dang it, I got it wrong. I made the waterfall first, I'm such a noob. Okay, I made the waterfall. Waterfall looks pretty good. I have to fix it up a little bit, maybe add some edges around it. Now do I make the flowers? Tell me I make the flowers. Come on past me. Oh yeah, I do the flowers. Just to add some color. I think it looks pretty good. I freeze for a little bit here. I'm pretty sure I'm just checking on the hedgehog cam, making sure everything's okay. Because he was crying. We all feel bad for him. Everybody say I'm sorry hedgehog cam in the comments. But we, we uh, start working on the path here, and I take out the stairs because I want a uh, smoother slope down, so I end up using the Baby Blocks half slabs uh, and of the cobble variety, keep in mind. So I use those to make a nice smooth slope down. Messing around with my inventory here, don't really know what's happening. I really need that storage system in place because my inventory and my chests are just not in a good place at the moment. But that slope's a lot nicer. That block was put there by the hedgehog cam. I don't know why it was there, but it ended up there. So we go in a nice curve down this hill. I ended up needing to do some terraforming just to make the path seem like it was there in the first place. It, 
it needs some work I'll be honest we need to add a lot more detail but I think it's, it's gonna be okay for now we might need to upgrade it in the future but you know it's it's a workable path it's, we can deal with it I start digging out some more of the blocks to fit in the path and then I get out my dirt and I start terraforming the land just making the path seem a bit more realistic so we put the dirt down try, we try to keep the hill looking nice and natural it's kind of hard to do because you know you got all these squares these cubes they don't really make a smooth slope but you know we work with what we got we need some dirt half slabs though that's a thing I think the game needs so we just kind of continue on with this path. I dig it out and we end up dropping it down a layer. That just adds a lot more shape to the path, makes it more interesting to walk on. I'm pretty sure nobody who walks on a path cares about how interesting the path is. They just want to get from point A to point B, but you know, it's nice to have. I appreciate the detail. So we finish digging it out and then hold on a second. Notice what Brent says. He says, I have to go to go sleep. Now, only masters of Minecraft go to sleep at 2 a.m. with their RGB LED lights on, but you know, who cares? At least it's me. I hope you I hope you like that picture. That picture was nice and adorable. But he leaves like an absolute noob, and I'm just stuck here finishing the path by myself. I can't believe he ditched me like that. But we just fill in the rest with some cobble. Nothing too crazy. We'll fix up the path later. And then I go back and I start adding some, some detail after noticing those beautiful lily pads. I don't know who put there, I'm assuming it was Bram. But we put these stairs in and you can walk over it and the crack doesn't affect your walking. And it looks really nice, it adds like a, a dented sort of mark inside the path and I think it just looks good. You should do it. Then I add some gravel in because, you know, we need the different textures. And then I go back and I start adding some smooth stone in. And yeah, I think you're all caught up now. And just like that, our outside is done. I still need to add a bridge because I don't like this little oak thing here. We're going to make it a bit more fancy. And we also need to do a bit more detailing of the path. I want to add some more bone meal like I did before. But I like these custom trees. I learned these from B00 from the Hermitcraft server. These, I think, look very nice. I'll put a picture up of what they're supposed to be in real life. But this is a nice little outside, a little pond. We got a lot done this episode, and I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Let's look over our garden as I say bye for now.